Hello artists! Today we're going to talk about form and really we're going to talk about some shapes too. Now the shapes I have on my table here, you might know these shapes. I have a rectangle, a square, a triangle, and a circle. I also have some drawn on a piece of paper. I have a diamond, a triangle, a square, a rectangle, an oval, and a circle. Now these shapes are flat. They're flat on the paper. I can't even pick these up. They're stuck to the paper. Now these are not drawn, but they're still flat. I can pick it up, but I can't make it stand up by itself. I can't roll the circle like a ball. It doesn't work like that. So these shapes, flat shapes, we call them 2D shapes because I can measure with my ruler how long they are and how tall they are, but that's it. They only have two dimensions. There's another trick to it that if you have some that are cut out, you can put them in your hand. And if you can still clap your hands, that means it's flat and that it's a 2D shape. It doesn't have any form. Now, when we talk about form, we're also talking about 3D shapes. So you might know some of the 3D shapes, like a cube. And when you look at just one side of a cube, it looks like a square. But I can hold it in my hand. And if I try to clap, I can't clap because my hands don't go together. So this has form. I could measure how tall it is. I could measure how long it is. And I can measure how wide it is. And I could use these and stack them on top. Like this one, I couldn't do that. It just fell over because it's flat. So here is my cube. All right, I've got another one too. This is a funnel. And when I talk about a funnel, this shape, it almost looks like the top of a triangle, but it has a circle on the bottom. And this is called a cone. I know you've seen an ice cream cone before. We can pretend that this has ice cream on top. This would be a, an ice cream cone, so it is a cone. So my funnel has this cone shape too. Okay, let's talk about another one. Now let's talk about a cylinder. Now a cylinder is a little bit different. I don't have a cylinder drawn on here because it has form. It has a little circle on the ends and I can roll it on the table. Now I have a glue stick that is the shape of a cylinder. I've got little blocks that is the shape of a cylinder. And I know you've seen this before. These chips, this can is a cylinder. It has form, it's a 3D shape. Let's try our clapping test. If I put my cylinder in my hand and I tried to clap, nope, it has form, it's 3D. All right, let's do this one. You know this one. This kind of looks like a circle. But my 2D shape, it didn't really roll because it only has two dimensions. Now, this one, it has form, it's 3D. So we call this a sphere and I can roll my sphere around. I can hold it in my hand and play with it. And if I do my clap test, nope, I couldn't clap with it. So it has form. This is my sphere, all right? Let's talk about one more. I'm going to talk about a pyramid. Now the sides of a pyramid kind of look like a triangle, but this one has form to it. This is a block and you can see it has a point at the top and I've got a square on the bottom and I can use this to kind of play with. Now if I try my clapping test, nope. So this is a pyramid. It has form. It's not flat. I can play, All right? So today I want you to try to make some 3D forms, some shapes. Now, 
I'm going to get some Play-Doh out. Here we go. Let's try to make some of our 3D shapes. Hmm. Let's go easy first. Let's try to make a sphere. So I'm going to put my sphere right there. I'm going to take my Play-Doh and I'm going to roll it in my hands or you can roll it on a table and see if you can make a sphere. That looks like a pretty good sphere to me. See if they roll. Yep, they can both roll. Alright, there's my sphere. So, a circle, 2D shape. A sphere is my 3D shape. Alright, let's now try to make, ooh, let's try to make a cylinder. So I'm going to take my Play-Doh, I'm going to take my hands, I might squish it now, and roll it, or you could roll it like this on the table. And I'm going to make the ends flat. And there I have a cylinder just like my glue stick. All right, let's try a cube. This one's going to be kind of tricky. I'm going to smash it back up. I think I'm going to start with a sphere again, so that means a ball. I'm going to start with the ball. So I need to turn it into my cube. So I'm going to squish my sides down. There we go. Maybe get them flat on the table. And there we go. I have a cube made out of Play-Doh. All right, let's see if we can make a cone. Let's pretend we're going to eat an ice cream cone. I'm going to use my hands again. And I'm going to roll it. And I want one side to be pointy. And the other side's going to look like a circle. So look, it looks like a circle on this end, but it's long and pointy over here. So then I can pretend that this is a cone. And I can pretend it has ice cream on top. So today, I want to see if you have Play-Doh. I want to see if you can make some of your 3D shapes with your Play-Doh. If you do not have Play-Doh, I want you to look around your house and see if you can find some of your 3D shapes. Remember, we're talking about a cube. Maybe you have boxes or a dice from a game. A dice is a cube. Let's see if you have a cone. Oh, like party hats are cones. Or if you have a funnel like I have, there's my cone. See if you have a cylinder. Remember, cylinders are pretty easy. There's lots of things like cans of food are cylinders, my glue stick, remember my chip can. I've got lots of cylinders at my house. And then a sphere is a ball that you could play with. So I have this little ball. I think I have one more. There it is, it rolled away. This one is a bead that sometimes I use to make necklaces with. And this is a sphere too. Now a hard one to find might be a pyramid. Now the pyramid I found is just from my blocks that we can play with. Couldn't find a pyramid at my house. So you might, might, you might want to make that one out of your Play-Doh. So if you can find those 3D shapes or if you can make them out of Play-Doh, I want to see that you know your 3D shapes. Take a picture of them and upload them to Canvas. Have fun!